We have listened in previous interviews some important key messages about polyphenols, what they are, why they're important for our diet, in which food we can find them, and how they interact with our gut microbiota. Now, let's find a little bit more with Professor Helena Kvežić from the University of Novi Sad. Hi, Helena, welcome. Could you tell us why the Health Benefits Assessment of Food Task Force decided to start working on polyphenols? As it was already mentioned, consumption of a polyphenol-rich diet, mainly including fruits and vegetables, is associated with a lower risk of certain chronic diseases, especially cardiovascular and cognitive ones. However, the mechanism of action of these compounds is still not completely resolved. Some evidence points out the possible role of gut microbiome in this process, so the expert group decided to review this topic with the main goal to better understand the bidirectional interaction of polyphenols with gut microbiota, including, for example, the creation of polyphenol metabolites and also changes in microbiome content or composition, and to evaluate to which extent these interactions influence observed health benefits of polyphenols. This will be performed through a systematic review of the available data related to the human intervention studies that include the effect of polyphenol on gut microbiome as well as microbiome polyphenol derived metabolites and associated health benefits. And what do you expect to be the outcome of this activity? Through this project, it is expected to better understand the polyphenol gut microbiota interplay, as well as its role in mediating the health benefits of polyphenols and to get additional insight in relation to the mechanism of action. The outcome of this project can also help to identify the potential target metabolites for future health intervention and could also be used as supporting evidence in health claim applications for polyphenols. Furthermore, understanding of the mechanism of actions and metabolite formation along with characterization of specific food-related polyphenols and required doses can support the design of future human intervention studies by academia and industry, as well as specific recommendation and evidence-based decisions by policymakers and related authorities. All in all, this project will contribute to the ongoing effort to maximize the potential health benefits of these fascinating compounds. If you want to know more about ILSI Europe, visit our website www.ilsi.eu and follow us on social media. If you wish to know more about the Health Benefits Assessment of Foods Task Force and activities, stay tuned for more videos or get directly in touch with us.